Hey YouTube, it's Kevin over Gary back here. I'm uh, at my friend's place, about ready to load my truck back up. And uh, I thought you guys might like to see this. Uh, it's just gonna be a little short video, but it's a pretty neat machine. Let me flip you around. So, this is it. It uh, needs some work. Uh, it's kind of a work in progress. What this is is a Pettibone. Uh, they were made for the railroads. Most of them had railroad things on it. But it's a pretty heavy duty uh, forklift besides this contraption that needs fixed. He bought it that way. Whoever did that should be shot. But anyways, uh, what's neat about this unit, it's got a turntable. So you lift up and turn this thing 90 degrees. Uh, some people also put loaders on these. Uh, so it's a neat little unit. They, this one originally was powered by a Detroit, uh, I don't know if it's a 453 or 471, but four cylinder Detroit. Well, my other friend uh, that he bought this off of put a uh, 12 valve in it. So it's got a 12 valve Cummins in it now. Uh, gives it a little more power and stuff but uh yeah it's a neat neat deal um four wheel drive four wheel steer um so what's wrong with it right now is the brakes don't really work worth a darn in it and uh he's having a problem with the steering mechanism too right now but the model is the 441 Deed Speed Swing. I'm gonna start it up so you guys can see. I'm gonna set you back here so you can see the cold start on it. Well, I was gonna show you guys that's how it works and stuff, but unfortunately the batteries are dead dead and I don't feel like jumping it. But uh, yeah, basic, basically it just works like a regular front loader except for that swivels so i hope you guys like it it's just something kind of different unique that you guys like to see please if you like this stuff don't forget to let me know in the comments if you like this stuff because i know of a 16 cylinder detroit powered uh wheeled bulldozer that i was thinking about taking you guys to see uh, so if you guys like this stuff let me know I'll show you some more weird stuff that I know of. Thanks for watching.